Now this process is simply following the steps in this awakening process. The first step is sati. Sati Patthan, which is the introversion of attention. And with the introversion of attention, the second step is becoming conscious of the unconscious reaction. Becoming conscious of the unconscious reaction is Dhamma Vichaya. Sub Dhamma Vichaya means becoming conscious of the unconscious process. And that becoming conscious of the unconscious process gives strength to that thinking part to stop the emotional part. Now the thinking part has become strong enough to stop the emotional part. By becoming conscious of the unconscious process, which is the emotional part. The emotion is aroused through this unconscious process, which is the reaction. That is the virya or strength or willpower. So this is not blind willpower. This is an enlightened willpower. It's not a blind force. Like uh, blind determination or something. By becoming conscious, the thinking process has been able to overcome the emotional process. That's the important thing. By doing this, the mind becomes purified. And the mind, when the mind is purified, the mind is free from emotional excitements, which are all self-centered. All emotional excitements are self-centered. And when the mind is free of this self-centeredness, what happens? the mind becomes happy. That happiness of the mind is what is called PT, rapture. Rapture is that happiness of the mind due to the freedom from emotional excitement. When the mind is not polluted by emotional excitements, the mind is happy automatically. This happiness is not another kind of excitement. This happiness is a tranquil state of the mind. This peaceful, tranquil state of the mind is the rapture. This rapture is not an excitement. 
and with this peaceful state of the mind the body relaxes the body relaxes because all emotions ex makes the whole body tense and the tension makes you uncomfortable now because the body is relaxed the body becomes comfortable the body is comfortable and relaxed and when the body is comfortable and relaxed the mind reaches a state of tranquility or stillness of the mind the mind is still that stillness of mind is what is called samadhi usually samadhi is translated as concentration this is not concentration this is relaxation and tranquility of mind which is the stillness of the mind the unshaken state of the mind it is resting the mind is resting and not concentrating concentration is not a rest concentration is an effort here there is no effort this is the resting of the mind with the relaxation of the body the mind becomes rested now that when that happens you are in the first jhana that first jhana is uh, the first level of tranquility now with that comes the second jhana the third jhana and the fourth jhana it becomes more and more tranquil and at the fourth jhana the tranquility becomes perfect and in this perfect tranquility your attention is focused within and not outside and you are fully aware of the process of perception you become fully aware of the process of perception there is no self to be seen anywhere but only the process of perception you are able to see the process of perception and that is what is called apperception there is a word that is being used by philosophers apperception is the dif something different from perception it is not perception it is apperception and apperception is something completely different and uh, instead of seeing what you see you are seeing how you see instead of seeing what you see you are seeing how you see that is the apperception that process of perception is perceived
and it is this process of perception that we tend to personalize. And we personalize means we think this is mine. And this process of perception, when we see this as mine, then that what is mine becomes myself. So myself comes into being by personalizing the process of perception. I am seeing things. This is why Descartes, the great philosopher of the West, he said, I think, therefore I am. He was making that same mistake of personalizing the process of perception. And many Western philosophers were blindly following his line of thought. Even now they are still going on with that. <coughs> 